We'll find a way to blame them. There's no doubt about it. I was actually up in Ottawa this past uh, this past October, and it was a bit different for me, you know, going up there, because I read in Reader's Digest that Ottawa was the rudest city in all of Canada, which was a bit strange for me coming from Newfoundland, where we're known as among the nicest people in all of Canada. It didn't take me long to adjust. I was only up there a day, and I stopped holding the door open for people. <laughs> Two days in, I'd wait till they almost got there. It wasn't my first time up there. I was up there many, many years ago. And of course, the first thing they do when I get up there is make fun of my accent, which is funny to me because I didn't know I had one. <laughs> Word of advice though, people from Ontario, when it comes to making fun of accents, you've really got no room to talk. People from Ontario always sound like they're gonna ask a question, but they never get around to it. I met a guy in Ontario, I ran into him two days later. He's like, hi, my name is Todd. <laughs> I thought he was asking. <laughs> I said, yes, yes it is. <laughs> we met the other day. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I worked at a 24 hour bingo, don't ever do that. There's only so many times you can hear B11 before you take a rifle to a shopping mall. <laughs> My first night up there, this guy comes up to me and he says, so, you're from Newfoundland? <laughs> yeah. He said, must be nice. What? He said, must be nice to get away from all the drinking and the fighting. <laughs> My first impulse was to punch him in the head. <laughs> but I would have spilled my beer, so I didn't mind. <laughs> I actually went on a blind date with a girl up in Ontario all those years ago. And it turned out she was with Greenpeace. She was an animal activist. And as soon as she found out I was from Newfoundland, she said to me in a very stern voice, so, how do you feel about clubbing seals? I said, well, Jesus, if you think we got time. <laughs> I got a hack of big in the trunk. <laughs>